uh, it's really an honor to uh, introduce this year's uh, resident uh, volunteer award. Um, and shout out to Ava, your plants are looking very healthy. Uh, Camille Spears has been amazing. I've been working with her for two and a half years. And um, from day one, she has been dedicated to her patients, dedicated to learning, always asking to, even the first day, you know, how to be better, how to, how to learn about diabetes, what's the best way to treat hypertension? You know, asking Brian, what's, tell me about this rheumatologic disease, what's the best way to treat it? Um, she's always been dedicated to, you know, the marginalized, the underserved, uh, always had a special interest with the HIV community. And I'm gonna use the words of Anna, our wonderful coordinator. Uh, she's kind, she's compassionate and professional. She's always a pleasure to work with. She never says no. She's always willing to stay late, even if people come late. She truly cares for her patients and pushes to get the best care. So I can't say it any better than Anna did. Uh, congratulations to Camille. Uh, Camille, you also were the one who convinced me that I should really, really take COVID seriously back in February when I was thinking of going to Ireland to see my daughter. So uh, kudos to you. you. You changed my viewpoint in February and it's never ch changed from there. So Camille will be going to back to her home state of Texas to be an infectious disease fellow in San Antonio. They're very lucky to have her and she's gonna be an excellent physician. So uh, congratulations, Camille Spears. Wow, thank you so much. That is, yeah, that really warms my heart. You guys are amazing. Um, huge gratitude to everyone that works at CHC. And I am so, I feel so lucky and special to get this award, especially considering how amazing all of my colleagues are. Um, and, you know, community health is, this has been a really just crap year <laughs> in general. I mean, it's just been, a really hard year um, I think for everyone and I definitely at times was more burned out than I've ever been um, and I never lost the excitement to come to CHC it always sort of lifted my spirits and I always felt excited when I got to come in the mornings you know some days some services are a grind you wake up and you're like oh my gosh I I'm not really feeling this today but I never feel that way about community health, I always feel excited to come in. And it's really amazing just the, you can really feel that all of the volunteers at the clinic and the people who worked to design the clinic and work to, to make it better every day, everyone's thinking about every layer of care that people need and that makes people's lives, every sort of piece that makes people's lives work better. And I mean, if, it's not, I feel like I play a small role as a medical provider, but there are so many different ways that you guys help with people's medications and access to specialists. You think about people's food and rent and mental health and all those things are so much more important than just basic medical care. And um, it feels so rewarding to be part of that and, and feel that all with like a group of people that genuinely care about what they're doing and that bring that super electric positive energy to work and um yeah i can't say enough about enough good things about being able to work in this environment i feel very lucky and i think my peers are a little jealous that i get to work at chc <laughs> so that's that's been nice um to just kind of feel that too i think i feel very lucky um and I do want to thank a few people that I interact with the most, and I'm, I will surely forget some, so I, I apologize so much, but just the people I work with the most. Um, Ava, first of all, thank you so much. I don't get to see you in person a lot, but I know that you're just like pulling an incredibly complex web of strings all the time and making things work, so thank you. Um, and in terms of just like general patient care, who I get to see and work with and who helps you know me provide good care to my patients, um, our Emily Hendel, Laura Bauman, um, Ornella, thank you for letting me, always helping me be confident when I refer people for counseling. A lot of people are having a hard time right now and you've done an amazing job. Um, Vicki, um, for having the best pop culture gossip and always bringing a really positive attitude um, to clinic. Um, 
Sylvia, we miss you. Um, and uh, Amelia for always giving us amazing morning huddle updates and trying to put a positive spin on a 50% positivity rate, which is really something that is a true feat and uh, always being so helpful and positive. Um, and Zachary Nunn, just at, just like echoing all the good things said about him. He's always there helping me keep, uh, keep me honest on scheduling my follow-ups and uh, Dr. Lamaru for legitimately like teaching me so much about rheumatology and congrats on the award, it's well, well deserved. Um, and uh, helping me with a really complex patient and teaching me so much about it. Um, and then Anna and Dr. Gallo, you guys are an incredible um, team and, and Anna, you're such a like hero all around in general, just like beacon of light and joy. And I feel so lucky to know you in general. And Dr. Gallo for being such an awesome clinic preceptor, you've somehow managed to like provide the perfect balance of support and independence for me. Um, so I really appreciate that professional growth and friendship that you've given and all the interpreters and all the triagers and I will stop rambling, but thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate everyone at the clinic. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Spears. Good luck. One of the other notes Anna put was, I know we have to share her with the world, but we, I really wish we didn't have to. Um, we're going to miss you so much. I hope you keep us posted on, on what you get up to. Um, just, yeah, that was amazing. And it's so nice to be reminded of all of the people on your team when you're there on Tuesday mornings. Um, and even to hear about like, it's not, it's not normal that you would be working right next to a rheumatologist who could teach you things, you know, again, just like the amazing way that community health functions and, and what we definitely miss in being able to all be on site together and what we're going to strive to find new ways to keep that for when we're not all together, because those relationships, I think, are what makes things just unlike anywhere else at Community Health. So thank you for reminding all of us of all of the relationships that make your work possible.